Hello, good people of YouTube. Mount Batten here. And today, yes, the title is correct. If you want early access to the new tier 10 destroyer, the Gdansk, you could be stuck forking over 84,000 doubloons for a tech line ship. Now, that shouldn't really be surprising to anybody that's been following these early access events. This is typically how Wargaming goes about doing this. Um, it's been this way for, what, almost two, three years now at this point? So, yeah. We're going to go over the event, talk about if you want to take part in this, what would you need to do to get some of these ships in early access into your port. I'm going to discuss whether or not I think it's worth participating in the event and give my two cents on the event overall. Uh, but here at the front, I will tell you guys my overall opinion of these early access events. They're relatively harmless i mean these ships will be available completely for free for everyone to grind through in two patches so you can literally wait 10 weeks and get these ships completely for free just by playing the game as normal and in fact that leads us very nice into our first point you can get most of these ships completely for free by just playing the game so like all early access events we have yet another new token to grind out called European tokens and you can get 1300 of these European tokens uh, completely for free so you can get 950 by doing combat missions 20 and free random bundles 130 tokens in the free battle pass 100 tokens in bundles for free XP and 100 tokens in bundles for community tokens and you can exchange these in the armory. If you enter the armory, you will see there's a new section for the European destroyers. And at the top, you have the sequential bundles. And here's where you will be exchanging that. Now, you can get up to the six sequential bundle completely for free because it only costs 1,200 tokens. And that will net you the tier 5, the Movenet, the tier 6, the Stored, the uh, premium bonus package for the Grom, the Grom, which is the tier 7. You'll get the Golden Age camo for the split, and you can also get the bonus package, the premium bonus package for the split as well, completely for free. And I mean, that's a premium economic bonus package for a tech line ship, for your tier 8 tech line ship for the split. Not gonna lie, that's pretty nice right there. And keep in mind, all that is completely for free. If you want to go any further, however, that is when you're going to have to crack open your wallet. Now, the other way you get these European tokens is in everyone's favorite feature of these early access events, the random bundles, the good old slot machine. So, again, if you head over to the European Destroyers event, at the top, very top, you will see the sequential, I'm sorry, the random bundles. And unlike... A previous couple of events where they kind of knocked down the price of these bundles we are back to 1,000 doubloons per bundle and there's 64 of these suckers <laughs> now in these random bundles you can get the tier 9 which is the Castanonis and then there's a bunch of other rewards like of course, European tokens, the bonus package for the Gdansk, which is the tier 10, uh, and then the bonus package for the Castonis as well, because again, even though you get the ship, it's it's not a premium ship, it's a tech line ship. And you can get a couple of other um, bundles that come with various rewards like green boosters, credits, and of course, more of the European tokens. So... Sea Lord obviously once again have tokens to get to the end of the sequential bundles. That's it, right? Well, no. So, 64 of these bundles. Let's say you get lucky and you do get like the big token packages back to back to back. You go back to the European uh, Destroyer sequential bundles and you complete that, you get to the ninth bundle, which is the Gdansk. Well, not only do you have to pay 2,500 European tokens to get the Gdansk. You then have to fork over 20,000 doubloons for the Gdansk. This is a tech line ship. 
This is a tech line ship that's going to be free in two patches for everyone to grind. Don't need European tokens at that point. So, yeah. Now, with that, of course, you have to get through the seventh and eighth bundles, which is the uh, Katsonis' uh, permanent camouflage for the event, and then the Gdansk's permanent camouflage for the event as well, and then finally the Gdansk. And keep in mind, again, even though you're forking over 20,000 credits, I'm sorry, 20,000, this is only 20,000 credits, 20,000 doubloons for the Gdansk, it doesn't even come with the permanent camouflage. You still have to buy that afterwards. <laughs> Which is, um, yeah. I know they don't cost that much anymore, but that, that's just kind of funny. You're forking over 100 bucks worth of doubloons, and you don't even get to, uh, you don't even get to keep the, uh, I'm sorry, you, you don't even get the permanent camouflage that's funny in my mind so again like i said it is all early access it's all completely optional i just think that it's hilarious the prices that they are putting on this event i mean hey look if you have disposable income and you know you understand that you're getting into a lot of gambling here and you're paying for a tech line ship and you're fine with that thank you for keeping the servers running my gdansk review will come out when th these things come out for tech line grinding because despite popular belief i ain't got that much money um of course i'll be taking a look at the the gato and then the um pan american cruisers here you should probably see those videos come starting to come out uh, tomorrow about those ships but yeah these guys i'll see if i can get you know up to the, well I, and i can get up to the tier 7 for free we'll check those guys out but speaking about these guys the timing of this event does kind of um have some consequences so as i'm sure most of you more involved players know clan battles is coming up here pretty soon now they haven't announced one way or another for sure if these destroyers are going to be allowed in clan battles clan battles this time they're, they're taking a more nuanced approach with the ship bands and stuff and I'm, I'm very glad they're doing it the way that they are because it's kind of spicing things up a bit and, and I, I do like what they're trying but these destroyers from what I've heard I haven't played them I'm not a CC not a super tester I haven't touched these ships I've been shot at by these ships but I haven't played them these guys, especially the higher tier ones, are a little bit cracked, apparently. They're excellent at cap contesting. Why? Because they have a smoke screen, radar, good ballistics on their guns, and a decent health pool. So, clan battles, the most important thing in that mode, is capturing the cap points. And clan battles is tier 8 and tier 9 right now. You can take one tier 9 ship... Um, and any amount of tier 8 ships with a couple of restrictions on the ones that you can take. Again, it's a more nuanced approach they're doing this year, but the gist of it is you can take pretty much a bunch of tier 8s and a couple of tier 9s. And the tier 9 and the tier 8s, from what, again, I've heard, are pretty good. And I have run into the split, and it was very annoying trying to cap with a split right there, uh, radaring me when I'm trying to cap in my... Uh, I think I was playing the... Uh, uh, wasn't the black um, ah the, the 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 Greek Fletcher the, the name's escaping me at this at this moment but anyway yep yeah, so they're pretty good at cap contesting and clan battles is coming up which again they haven't clarified if you can't take these ships because normally these ships are usually not allowed for my memory or they kind of let them in later on like with the louisiana uh they, they let her in the last two weeks of last season but i think that had more to do with the fact that it was a hybrid not a straight on battleship but if they do allow these ships in and they are as cracked as i've heard and um as i'm sure many of you guys have seen them on on other you know cc streams and things like that then that brings in perhaps a bit of pay to win into clan battles now I'm also not going to try and sit here and pretend that this CB season isn't going to be chocked full of premium ships, because it is. I can tell you, you know, you see a lot of Massachusetts, you're going to see a lot of blacks, you're going to see uh, probably some kids, um, Lennon, uh, Kearsarge. There's going to be a ton of premiums in there. 
but those are premiums that has a have a much lower price tag than these ships currently have because um again if you want to get the Castonis, you have to be willing to fork over potentially up to sixty four thousand doubloons and the split is the last reward for the premium battle pass so you have to pay for the premium battle pass to get the split and as we all know ships that are just released tend to be of course either a little overcooked or a little undercooked in terms of their performance um, and Wargaming takes their dear sweet time making changes accordingly and that was kind of the whole gist of early access events beforehand it was that hey look these ships aren't quite ready yet but if you want to pay you can get early access to them they didn't even release the tier 9 and 10s back in the day I'm not sure if you guys remember back, that back when you had just had to buy the containers and you had a chance of getting one of these ships in early access um, they only went up to the tier 8 you couldn't get the tier 9 or the tier 10 because they weren't done but now they're just releasing whole lines that you pay for instead of grinding out to get. So that's my issue with this event in particular. That we're about to have another clan battle season. They're looking like they're taking a much more nuanced approach with the, the ship bands and the ship, ship selection and things like that. And I would hate for it to be overcasted by the fact that you can buy these early access uh, premium pan euro DDs that look like they might be a little cracked right now especially with cap contesting which again is what cbs is all about and when you have a destroyer with radar smoke good gun ballistics and such yeah that's probably going to be a, a destroyer that's going to be brought a bit if they're allowed again um they haven't said one way or another these ships are for sure allowed or not into clan battles but that's where i'm at with this event so let me know guys what you think about this event in the comments down below. Are uh, you just going to see what you can get for free? Which again is what I always recommend with these events. You can get up to the tier 7 completely for free. And that's, that's two thirds of the grind done already guys. So like again just play the game. Get the free tokens. Cash them in. You should be able to get a pretty good feel for the line. Whether or not you want to um, dedicate to grinding the tier 8 and the tier 9 out so yeah just get what you can for free don't waste your money on buying tech line ships that are going to be completely free in 10 weeks but anyway guys share your thoughts with me down below if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel when we get to 50,000 subscribers thanks to you guys they cannot thank you guys enough for that hope you have a wonderful thursday wonderful rest of your week i hope to catch you guys in the next one